Greetings! You're watching Inside Movies Galore. And here we are with our second, or at least my second, Streamlit review. Today we are visiting the lovely short film The Last Airbnb, directed by Logan O'Neill and starring Tim Gore and Nick Vernon. So, I of course have been enjoying Streamlit since I finally got it to work and it is a lovely place for you to check out the newest in short films by the newest and most upcoming of actors and actresses. This little 2017 gem is well worth the checking out and so are many many others. Check out any details about Streamlit in the links below. So let's talk a little bit about what this is about. Nathaniel is going for a job interview. He's moving to a new place. He needs a place to stay. The hotels are a little bit too expensive, so he finds a moderately priced Airbnb. But something's not right. As, Dan as Nathaniel meets Trevor, the strange and eccentric owner of this b and Is everything going to be all right? Well, you're going to have to watch it to find out. This one has a little bit more on it than the last one I reviewed. I have a nice little poster right here, so you can take, well, that it's been here anyway, that you can take a look at. And on top of that, this one does have an IMDb page. It has a couple of awards. Um, the uh, winner of the Misty Con Independent Film Festival for Best Horror Comedy and the Con Carolinas Short Film Festival uh, winner for Best Fiction. I find this particular film very enjoyable, especially the performance by Nick Vernon. This man, this this uh, this guy, this owner of this B&B, really does come across as this slightly creepy individual who you see as possibly that strange killer in many of those movies. But again, it takes that comedic touch to it. It's like every time you think something's going to happen to Nathaniel, you throw him for a loop. <laughs> now, I'm not going to say what happens at the end, but I do believe that the ending also had a nice and funny twist to it. So, altogether, acting, effects in general, I actually believe this was very well done. It conveyed the message it wanted to convey. It was entertaining, it was light, it was funny, and I could hear all the dialogue. I could see all the stuff, the film was clear, and the acting was well suited for the project it was in. So let's talk about the not so fortunate. There's not a lot to it. I mean, I guess the biggest thing is for something that does have a twist that you would think would be a little bit out of the ordinary, it was something that was unfortunately predictable. I say that as a, as a truth because I really wanted this to be more than it was. I felt like there are a couple of tweaks that could have been made to make this from super good to super perfect. But at the same end, for what it was, this is just me nitpicking. I mean, when a film is to the point where you've got to kind of nitpick to find something bad, it's not even worth addressing. So we've done our short review. Now let's put a number on it. I would give The Last Airbnb an 8 out of 10. You need to check this out. It's short and it's fun. It's light. Get a subscription to Streamlit. Check it out. Now, 
I mean, plunk down three bucks. It's not that much. <laughs> it's This is worth a three buck rental, as so are the many other things on it. With that being said, you've been watching Septum Sen. And of course, if you like these reviews, please check out more reviews on our channel. And of course, you can always check me out on my other channel, or actually on my channel, <laughs> Septum Sen vs. the World. Any case, thank you very much, and we will see you on the next one. Goodbye.